Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tiger Schooling. In this session of the video, we're actually going to talk about the joints of pelvis. So this is the pelvis you can see in this diagram. This is your bony pelvis. And remember there are three joints of the pelvis. The three important points or the three important joints in the pelvis are sacroiliac joints, which is right over here. This is there you got the sacroiliac joint between your sacrum and ilium the second the second one is your symphysis pubis which is found over here this is where the symphysis pubis is found and the third one is the sacrococcygeal joint which is between your sacrum and coccyx over right over there i haven't drawn the coccyx very uh, very neat and clean and uh, right over there there is a, a coccyx and with the coccyx there there is uh, the sacrococcygeal joint so let's talk about each and every joint in this lecture. Let's get started. So first talk about the sacroiliac joint, which is right over here in that between these structures. This is there you got the sacroiliac joint between this is your biggest structure. That is just uh, iliacus, iliac fossa, big one. This is your ilium. This is your sacrum. The joint between them is the sacroiliac joint. And this joint is your synovial joint. Remember this one. And which is... Um, which is actually uh, its primary function is to transfer weight of the body from your vertebral column to your bony pelvis. So this is kind of uh, transfer your weight of the vertebral column, bringing from upper trunk to your to your bony pelvis. And the nerve supply, which uh, of the sacroiliac joint, is from the branches of your sacral spinal nerves. So this is about your sacroiliac joint. The second joint is this one right over here, which is called the symphysis pubis. So the symphysis pubis is actually a cartilaginous joint, which is formed between two pubic bones. These are two pubic bones, which is formed between them by a layer of a hyaline cartilage. There is a between a hyaline cartilage between them and are connected together by a fibrocartilaginous disc. There is a disc between them which is called vibrocartilaginous disc. That's the uh, second joint which is the symphysis pubis in front anteriorly. And the third joint which is the sacrococcygeal joint. Let me show that in the other the diagram, sacrococcygeal joint. Let me put it back uh, right over there. There you go. Let me zoom in again and show you the sacrococcygeal joint. So uh, let me bring the diagram a little bit downward. You can see this, right? This is your sacrum and that is your coccyx. The joint between them, right over there, the joint between them, right over there, you got your, this joint is called the sacrococcygeal joint. This is your sacrum, the, the last bone is your coccyx. So the joint between, formed between them is your sacrococcygeal joints. It is also a cartilaginous joint, uh, which is, uh, which is formed between the last sacral vertebra and your sacral coccygeal vertebra and uh, the cornua remember the cornua cornua are on the posterior side on the posterior side you can see this is the uh, uh, the cornua of your coccyx and the cornua of your sacrum these are the cornua of sacrum they are they are both the cornua of sacrum and coccyx are joined together by uh, the by ligaments um, on the anterior and posterior side on the other side we have talked about ligaments in in, in previous video you can check that out as well on the introduction to pelvis maybe so this is it regarding the uh, joints of pelvis and uh, please make sure to visit our website that is www.tigeschooling.com and keep visiting Tigs Schooling.